Now I'm here live with heavyweight Jerry Forrest, who's uh, literally on his way to training camp uh, next yeah, Thursday night. Up camp. What's that? Finishing up training camp. Finishing up training finish camp. Up. Uh, taking on Carlos Takam next Thursday night on ESPN. Uh, Jerry, what's happening? How you, doing? How you doing, guys? How you doing, Mr. Mark? How you doing? We're, we're, we're doing good. Um, obviously, next Thursday night, taking on Carlos Takam. It wasn't a... The the uh, the original um, what was the on the original plate? Jarrell Miller obviously uh, with the positive test last week. Um, let's talk about that before we get into um, uh, Carlos Tacom. When you heard the news, uh, what what went through your mind? Uh, it was just a shocker. Um, not that I mean, <laughs> you would think that he wouldn't do it. You know, like my first initial thought is. No, not again. No way. So, I was just a little shocked, but this is the boxing game. So, it soon must go on to the next. Um, obviously, well, obviously, what happened? And I think last night he made a um, he made a, some kind of apology in, on a Fight Network up in Canada. I don't know if you had a chance to see that. He um, no, sir. He uh, you know he kind of talked about last night. How disappointed were you in the? I mean, obviously he's an undefeated guy, not taking anything away from Takam, who's fought for the world title. But uh, you know, that was your that was a chance to, to fight, you know, an undefeated guy and uh, really um, make a name for yourself on next Thursday night. Yeah. Um, that's the benefit that I don't get anymore. Uh, but Takam's a good fighter. He's a solid fighter, good test, uh, rank high in the world. So it's a good fight for me. But yeah, I definitely wanted the middle fight. How much uh, do you have to uh, change, uh, you know, your scouting, your training, and everything like that? I mean, is there going to be a, a change in the game plan, or you just you're just going to go out and do what you got to do? Uh, to come to a smaller version of the game, so we haven't changed much. But yeah, that's nice. um, a lot of people saw your last fight. With Jermaine Franklin, most people, if not everyone, believe you won the fight. Uh, after taking a look at it, I'm sure on, uh, I don't know if you watched it, you know, since then, what were your thoughts on that fight? Uh, I shouldn't have took as much time as I did. I should have just went in for the kill more. But other than that, you know, I thought I boxed him beautifully to my time, my punches. But if I would have known that the outcome was going to be that, I would have just tried to stop him or just made it more convincing. Is that is that just some, is that something you know fighters learn with every fight? That was maybe your first uh, you know real shot on, on, on the big stage. Is that something that that you learned in that fight? That uh, when you you had a chance to put your foot on the gas pedal next time, he, that's going to happen. Yes, sir, definitely. Uh, well, the, the mindset for that fight was that most people want to see a heavyweight fight. That's a good heavyweight fight. Like when's the last time you seen a good heavyweight fight? There haven't been so, many. You know so. That's my idea. I mean, the, the, you want to see knockouts from heavyweights, sure, but you also should love heavyweight fights because we're heavyweights. So, you know, you have the Frasers, but you also have the Ali's. So I just feel like when you can put on a good show as a heavyweight, that, that should carry more. It just is out of my favor because of politics and corruption. But, you know, it happens. You know, obviously, after a long time of the, quote, Klitschko era, the heavyweight division wasn't, you know, wasn't really looked upon as exciting. And you're just talking about exciting heavyweight fights. Now we got everything with Wilder and Fury and Joshua. You know, you have Pulev and you some other guys, uh, Dillian White. A win next Thursday night is Jerry Forrest's name uh, put up, you know, in that top 10, uh, maybe top 8 category uh, in the heavyweight division. They should be. Um, the only difference between me and those guys is they've been for long. That's the only difference I feel. Um, my confidence is there. My skill is there. Um, I got a great, a great staff, great promoter, great manager, great coaches. So we we'll take care of ourselves. You, you mentioned your promoter is signed with Lou DeBella now. And, uh, you know, knowing that you have that type of backing behind you, does that even give you more confidence heading into this fight? Definitely. Um, it makes the fight a lot more fair, realistically. So, uh, and Lou's a great guy. You know, uh, I've enjoyed uh, being part of the team so far. Uh, t- talk about um, uh, 
how you got into boxing. What age did you start? And, uh, you know, what age did, did, did you realize that, you know what, this is going to be something for me and one day I'm going to be a heavyweight contender? Uh, I always wanted to do it. I've always liked boxing and all that stuff, you know, in general. Um, but 19, I really had my first amateur fight. Really took it serious. 18. <sighs> <laughs> a little tired, so huh? Case. Yeah, man, we've been doing medicals all day. Medicals all day at home, and now we're right back on the road going back to camp. So it's like... I bet you... I, I don't know if you've had it yet, but I'm sure you're not too excited to take the, the, the corona test. Have you got it done yet? Yeah, I, I, yeah, I took one this morning. That's what... Yeah, I did... This morning I did eyes, I did COVID. Uh, yesterday I did my blood, so it's been... Every day doing. Which one did you get, the nose or, 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 or the uh, down the mouth? The nose. The nose. <laughs> How bad was it? <laughs> I don't like pain at all, so it was very uncomfortable. You don't I like... don't like, no. no don't. <laughs> I don't like needles, don't like bites, don't, no. So, I mean, have you thought about, you know, obviously much has been made about the, quote, top-ranked bubble where, you know, you, you're only going to be um, – you know, in certain areas of the hotel and, and whatnot. Uh, what uh, have you thought about that? You know, it's, it's kind. Of, it's probably not going to be your usual fight week. It's fine. Give me Netflix. I'm good. Netflix, gym train, something to eat. And I mean, that's I mean, that's what I do at home anyway. It's not like I'm out partying. Not a club guy and stuff. So I mean, it's, it's fine with me. You got a favorite Netflix show? Always. You have a favorite Netflix show or one that you're binging right now? Oh man. Uh, Right now, what are we watching? Me and my wife, well, actually, I, I watched one with my wife, Good Girls. Like, that was actually pretty funny. Mm -hmm. But, um, Netflix, uh, but I mean, it's Breaking Bad, uh, Shameless. I mean, we watch all of those. Man. Um, God, Power. Uh, Stranger, Th Stranger Things? Stranger Things. That's that's, like that, Stranger Things. that's the only one I watch, so. <laughs> yeah, I, my wife usually, I'm, I'm a movie person, but my wife likes to binge watch movie shows, so I, I'll find different shows for us to watch so so you're a movie person what's that one movie when it comes on or maybe one or two movies when it comes on uh, you throw the clicker away and i'm in this one for the next two hours uh any rocky movies okay um Makes titanic sense. um any kind of fighting movies blood sports <laughs> any of the old john claude van damme steven seagal any of the I mean, old action movies, uh, uh westerns i used to stop and just kidding and watch and anything information, anything informational, I'll, I'm completely with it. I'll watch that over here. Have you thought about what it's going to be like to fight with, with pretty much no one in in the uh, building, just you, uh, Carlos, the ref, and a few people around ringside? Not at all. Not at all. Well, um, I'm there to box. Anything you want to, uh, two final questions, anything you want to say in closing out there to the fans uh, around the world? Man, come check us out, man, July 9th. It's going to be super cool. Uh, it's going to be a great show. Uh, Call us and come. definitely coming to fight. Um, I, I think that uh, it's going to be a great fight, but I'm going to definitely come out with the edge convincingly, very convincingly. Um, I think I'm going to shock a lot of people. Heavyweight boxing, obviously, we, they talk about capturing the imagination of the public. How important is it for you to not only win, but, but put on a real, you know, uh, Real great display uh, next Thursday night. Well, at this time in our present state, you know, we need something to believe in. So I figure, why not? There you yeah. go. Well, why not be the blue collar good guys? Where can we find you on social media? Uh, Jerry Forrest KO, uh, Jerry Forrest KO, Instagram and Twitter. Uh, Facebook is the Jerry Slugger Forrest. Well, we look forward to seeing you next Thursday night. Drive safe and, uh, uh, you know, have a good last week of training camp, and we'll talk to you along the way. Yes, sir. Thank Thanks you. Thank you very much yeah, for your time. Sir.